YouTube, YouTube, we back here with another motherfucking reaction, yeah, huh? If y'all didn't hear about that motherfucking news that happened yesterday, bro, y'all motherfucking missing out. Y'all don't know who Lil Durk is, y'all little need to know who Lil Durk is. He's the nigga who's sliding for Vaughn right now, you know. Um, but anyways, yeah. Um, apparently he had a lookalike, you know, and he brought him on stage or whatever, made him a little TikTok famous and all that. Yeah, her, yeah. And then I guess, you know, he got a little too famous. You know, 6 9 trolling as you know, would never stop trolling Levon unless um, little Tim or young, young boy died for Vaughn, you know. So, that being said, you know, the little boy right here, you see, look, he looked like little Dirk, but he don't look like little Dirk. He looked like the general value, essential needs, value needs of um, little Dirk. So, no. So, tomato, tomato, if you can see what the, um, Titus says Steve will do it, denies setting up fake little dirt to get perched by 6 9 a little perky yo. So, what's basically happening is, you know, Steve will do it. He be hanging out with the weirdest motherfuckers, all the, the most con controversial motherfuckers, you know, Donald Trump and 6 9 I don't need to name nobody else. That's really the two most controversial people in the world right now. Uh, that being said, yeah, so basically, you know, Steve will do it. Told him he probably wanted to make a YouTube video. A lot of people probably tell him this little nigga they want to make YouTube videos. He popping right now. Six, little dirt putting them in videos, all types of shit. He went and did them all a little prank. So of course he probably said, "Yeah, does. they wanted the biggest YouTubers on YouTube, right? You know, I don't decide no goddamn lie when I got out." So I guess you know he called him. He called him. You know, he was like, "Yeah, let's make a video." I guess when he pulled up to the video. I the colorful hair red the was there. So. Hey. <laughs> he said, fake look dirt. <laughs> Heck and nah, all, boy. That couldn't be me, bro. I don't give a fuck who you're around. If you be recording this shit for a video, right. for Dear Perkyo, internet, I know you're not going to do nothing to me, so that I shit over. You, I messaged you, and I set you up. First off, if you have the DMs of... <laughs> message. At Fake Little Dirt, I have never... I have never, never experienced anything. Never, ever experienced... experienced anything like this on the internet i feel like something viral someone just make it and i feel like something viral someone just making something up about me isn't right i mean i mean it when i said a one million to him if he has proof me or the next boys message him because that never happened if what he said is true he a millionaire so do you want a million dollars fake dirt well if you are a, a truther then you are a millionaire too what the fuck, boy? <laughs> fake, fake Dirk is honest, and he ha he has a million dollars. So if he's a trooper, he's a millionaire. Messaging you, I'll give you a million dollars because that's cap. Second, you said you came and you had no idea Six Nine was even there. Cap, let's roll the footage. You walked into the lobby, and I said Six Nine's here. He's upstairs. Do you want to go upstairs? You went upstairs, and then finally. I didn't know any of this was happening. The people that called you to go film, and the people that called you to give you money to film with 6 9 they called me to come film for my YouTube. Like a skit, and... See, that's not fair, bro. That's not fair, bro. Steve will do it, bro. You know, come on now. 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 Like, come on now. Like, that's like... Just to be with Asian saying, just to be with wants to meet up and do a video, but he not really saying just to be want to do it. But you know this is Asian. He's saying like he want to do a meeting. You get the and you get blam rested by this shit. Of course I'm gonna blame Justin Bieber. And he was there. Get the fuck off. That's what I came to do. I didn't know that there was going to be any of this disrespect shit. I didn't know there was going to be a hoodie. I didn't know that there was going to be a bunch of people there. And, you know, I don't fuck with that. 
And I just want to say, don't blame me because you feel like you fucked up and you may have fucked up relationships. Uh, like, I wouldn't. Six nine. Hi. I can't tell him about that. Yeah, cause yeah. he's here. Like, six nine. Six nine. Yeah, we're here. <laughs> I don't know if you like. I don't know. Maybe you want to like squash the beef. He's a nice guy. Honestly. Yeah. You want to maybe do it? I don't know. Be cool. I feel like you guys could be like. Well, yeah. See, like, look what he's doing, bro. He making, trying to sing, like, first of all, the man's not a game maker. It's never like that. So even if he wanted to go meet 6 9 Donald Trump, he could. He's just a fucking civilian. I swear to God. He could meet 6 9 hug and be best friend with him. And Lil Dirk should have no problem with it. If Lil Dirk have a problem with this little boy, meeting other famous people, bro, and he's a kid, is you serious? Come on now. Let's be real. That's just weird, bro. He's upstairs. Like, you guys... And he... And the way he... You sure you want to meet him? You sure? He, he just right upstairs, you know? It's not actually the dirt. If this was actually the dirt, like, come on now. I'm not saying he'll be right upstairs. Blah, 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 blah. But, like, come on now. I don't know. Squash the beef. That'd be sick. Yeah. Sweet. Let's go. Yeah, baby, you drive like me six, seven months. I will not. I heard. Yeah, too. Because when I meet people, I'm not going to be It's just like, it's just like, I don't want to mess up any bond with dirt and everything. I don't want to fuck your work because I have no image, so I can't. I don't, don't want to, like, fuck it. Yeah, I don't want to fuck it. Uh, you, you didn't know what it was me. I didn't yeah, I, I, don't know. I didn't know. I thought I was going to do it with you. I didn't know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, actually, you know, the, the, the background, yeah, yeah, he has dis disrespected some of the members in Chicago. So I'm around around. Around. Yeah, I'm around there. I'm around with you and them, and them boys. I'm, but I'm not affiliated with anyone. You know, this is my safe room. Yeah. So, shall we? Yeah. He's gonna sit on the next shirt, 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 yeah. yeah, like regardless, yeah, you guys can yeah. meet. Yeah. yeah, like that's fine. And we'll, you guys we'll are just meet whatever you guys want. Perfect. They basically yeah, force this nigga to do this shit, bro. Anything we could like do, and then you guys like clear or something. Well, whatever he wants to do. I didn't even know about that guy. You guys should just talk to him. But like either way, it's gonna be viral. Either way, we can see. I know it's gonna be viral, but it's about respect. I don't want to cross his line. I don't want to. Yeah, I don't want to do any, do anything without his consent. Like, cross his door. But I'm out to be a little bit. Yeah. So yeah, we don't want to mix up no. We just try to get up. We just try to make money. You guys should just go talk to Danny off camera. And then, like, yeah, regardless of everything, regardless of everything, I said might as well, like, yeah, regardless of everything, you guys just need, I'll figure it out from there. Let's check it out now. So what's the truth? Okay, we got Little Perkio, okay, aka Fake Little Dirk, who basically said he got ambushed, set up by 6 9 and he names a YouTuber who he claims reached out to him. That YouTuber name is Steve Will Do It, okay? Essentially, he said he showed up to do a collab. If you don't know, he was in Lil Durk's recent video, so he's been getting a lot of shine, and I'm talking about Perkio, okay? He's a Lil Durk doppelganger who basically is he's Haitian. I didn't realize that he's not all the way good with English yet. However, you know, he's kind of trying to make his, you know, rounds around social media by looking like Lil Durk. So... Somebody hits him up to say, hey, let's do a collab. He's claiming he did not know it was 6 9 He said he thought it was Steve Will Do It. Steve Will Do It responded by saying, no, you're lying. You're capping. 
You knew you were gonna do it with 6ix9ine. By the way, when you walked into the building, I even told you 6ix9ine was upstairs, okay? Now what ended up happening is Perkyo put out his own video where he could be seen standing off to the side. And basically when Steve approaches him, he says, yo, out of respect for Dirk, I don't wanna do nothing with 6ix9ine. Eventually, clearly what happened, um, 6ix9ine and his homies walked near him and put a jacket on him and put their arm around him clearly a very uncomfortable situation now i've told y'all and i've called the situation lame six nine's my friend but i don't like situations like that where you have you are targeting or preying upon people who really ain't got nothing to do with nothing okay by the way i get what some of y'all say well yo he shouldn't be dressing up like dirt i agree you know dirt got enemies and he should be very mindful that because you dress up like dirt you might get something coming at Dirk, but it's instead aimed at you. However, six times he was a part of this, which by the way, he clearly was. He knew what he was doing. I just don't think that's dope. Again, what about if somebody booked six nines girl for a fake show and then did something to her? Would he feel bad? Would he think it was out of bounds? Or would he think it's fair play? I think it's easy to say, yo, Oh yeah, uh, uh, we have no responsibility when you don't think about somebody doing the same to you. Okay, this is where Six Nine has to realize. Listen, you can't be selfish. And also, here's the thing, because that the Steve will do it part came into it. Steve will do it basically said he didn't hit up this guy. Do I believe him? Kind of do. Six Nine put out some text message proof. Seems like it was set up through the uh, Instagram account called Rap, and they pretty much set it up. But it's not really clear if the kid knows that he's gonna be meeting up with 6ix9ine. And this is where my issue with everybody comes in, okay? 6ix9ine, here's the thing. If you love Steve Will Do It, which by the way, he's giving you so much great promotion on his page and also through the Nelk brand, I just don't think you should throw him into the wolves or even have him near your fuckery. We all know you're a lightning rod for controversy and beef and hip hop, but when you've been around Steve, it's never been that, okay? It's never been situations that's bled into the conversation of beef and setting up in, in music. Like, it's never been that type of stuff. I do fun stuff, but now you have people looking at Steve will do it like he is trying to set dudes and black dudes at that up. That's weird, and that's actually you taking advantage of your friend. Your friend who, trust me, I've been around Steve and Nelk, they don't know too much about hip hop. They don't know like what some of the consequences of certain actions are. Not to say like he's getting taken advantage of, but six nine, you shouldn't have your friend anywhere near that. If you're gonna do that BS, do it by yourself. <laughs> because I wouldn't allow six nine to do no BS like that when it came to me. Okay, listen, I'm somebody in media. I deal with a lot of artists. I deal with a lot of artists who basically has to, they have to trust me when they show up to my place of business that hey, it's gonna be safe. I'm not lining them up. It's not no ulterior motive. And I would be, listen, I would never let a nigga like 6ix9ine or anybody else get into the drop on somebody or jump out the bushes at somebody when I'm trying to do business. Because you know what? It's going to F up my business. And if he was a true friend, he wouldn't want that to happen. This is why I'm confused why Steve is even near the situation at all. Okay? I get it. 6ix9ine wanted to make some ha ha, some jokes with the Perkyo situation because of his beef with Lil Dirk. But keep your friend out of it if it's really your friend. Steve shouldn't have even been there. Okay? Also, this is kind of short-sighted on your behalf. Because now, people are going to be looking at Steve weird. And now, it's going to make him kind of feel like he got to separate from you. Like, this is just not good. Not for a viral moment. And ironically, that's Dirk's song. I don't know why he would do this right here. Okay? Again, do I believe this kid is lying? I think he, he took a bag. I think they thought that it was going to be some fake video. And I think he felt uncomfortable when he saw what it actually was. And again, that's just not cool. Okay? 6 9 you could do better. We just seen a couple days ago. You're giving away money. Now we're seeing you back on the BS. Which one is it? Okay? Listen, we get the trolling. People do like the trolling. But not when the trolling is intimidating, hurting, or putting other people who ain't got nothing to do with nothing in the middle of your fucker. You want to you wanna see little Dirk? You got a problem with little Dirk? You running around with a hundred goons looking for Dirk? And if he's running around with a hundred goons looking for you, don't pull up on academics looking for Dirk. Don't pull up on academics looking for 6ix9ine. Go find each other. You guys are on flyers to be at shows, to be at clubs. Why don't y'all pull up on each other? But this is where rappers are so goddamn selfish, okay? They basically got problems that they use to profit off it, and they make a lot of money when it comes to their careers. But in all reality, what happens is it's never them that get hurt. It's always like the middleman. It's always somebody who ain't got nothing to do with nothing. 
And you know why? The people who dislike each other, they're not pulling up on each other. They're pulling up on everybody else. If you listen to rap music, it would make it seem like niggas can't find each other. Like, yo, this is hide and go seek. No, it's not hide and go seek. People don't seek out the people they actually have problems with. They seek out the people who they feel they can take advantage of. I don't like it at all, and I am speaking out against it. 6 9 you should be ashamed of yourself. Also, Perkio, listen, I would give you some advice. I want you to succeed on social media, but stop this impersonation of Dirk. Trust me, while 6 9 might be trolling, even though it looked weird and you were comfortable, there's a lot of people with or that's beefing with Dirk that's not joke, joking around. And if they feel like getting at you might get at Dirk, they're going to do it. If you don't want those consequences, stop immediately, okay? Some of this stuff is getting out of hand. And again, I'm going to just keep saying it. If Dirk and 6 9 got a problem. Leave everybody out of it. How about y'all go meet up with y'all themselves, okay? Get in the comments. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to the Academics. Again, uh, it's very sad that this happened, but hey, I'm wondering what everybody's thoughts is. Like, does Steve regret like being this close to this situation? Does Perkyo regret impersonating Dirk? And does Six Nine regret just for a simple laugh? He basically is being looked at as like a bully, which usually Six Nine never really comes across the bully to people who are innocent. But this time he did. You guys get in the comments. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to Witch Academics. Basically, um, that YouTuber, what, what their name, what their name is, Nelk, Nelk, Nick, Nelk, I don't know, I don't know, I don't really know their name, Nelk, what? Nelk Boys, yeah, actually, Nelk Boys, you feel me, they hit me up on IG, they sent me, they said, do I want to collab with anything and everything, I was like, alright, yeah, bet, I'm going to collab with them, so I start, you know, we chopping it up and everything. They said, all right, so they sent me the ID. They said, we gonna collab. I, and then my manager had talked to them. My manager had said, um, you know, what what y'all got in mind? Like, what y'all gonna do, you feel me? And then, you know, they said, um, they wanted just, they just wanted me in a video, you feel me? Like, just Dirk and them, you know, just like, cause I had seen Dirk, I did an interview with them boys. Um, and then they asking me, I was like, all right, it's cool. I'm gonna just, you know, I'm gonna just do it. So, you know, I pulled up and then they started asking me some questions. They said, you know, um, we about to film the video upstairs and everything. I'm like, all right, cool, cool and everything. And then they talking about some six nine at at the um, beginning. I thought they was trolling. I was like, I was like, all right, cool. You feel me? I was like, um, six nine and everything, but I didn't know six nine was there at all. And then so they said, let's go upstairs, you know, we, we about to shoot the video. Me and, and um, Steve, what was his name? Still would do it. Yeah, still would do it. Yep. Because I didn't talk to him. I just came and then we was chopping it on and everything. And then we, all, we went up. When we went up, while we went up, me and my manager, my um, and my cameraman too. My cameraman was with me. And then them boys unbushed me. Them boys unbushed me. Six. I saw six nine came out of nowhere. Six nine and then um his crew. He had a lot of niggas around him too. Like they all came. And then the uh, there was that one one nigga that came and then start talking to me with a jacket on. I didn't know what was in the jacket. And then he start throwing like he start like everybody unbushed me like literally like he he threw the jacket on me. And then like I started saying, like this nigga was pressing his arms right here. He was pressing. And then I'm like, yo, I was looking at him and then every of them boys like they was filming and everything they was filming and, and all that. So I'm like, you know, like before that, I was like, you know, I don't want to do no video, like no video with six nine, none of that. I said I don't wanna do, I don't wanna disrespect OTF, I don't wanna disrespect dirt, I don't wanna disrespect nobody. You feel me? I said I don't wanna disrespect nobody and then um the like literally every everybody um bushman and everything. And then um six nine I said um what he said Yeah I said, you know No, I think I, I said I said I wanted to leave. I wanted to leave. Like I, I didn't wanna stay. I said I'm very uncomfortable right now. I talked to the um Stevie will do it guy. I said I don't wanna do the, no videos with nobody. I don't want no beef, I don't want no um None of that stuff, you feel me? Cause I'm actually, you know, cool with Dirk and everything. Cause he took me as a brother, you feel me? He, we talk and everything. 
You feel me? He makes sure he shows me love and everything. So you feel me? Like it's like it's, it's like weird. Like it's very lame. Six nine is very lame for that. Like literally, like all of his boys, like I'm busting every everybody. Like literally, they came out of nowhere and then they start you know, I'm busting and everything. Like that's 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 six nine is very like lame. Yeah, that's fucked up, man. Y'all seen him all say the beginning and shit, man. I don't know what the fuck. I just don't get 6 9 bro. Like, what is your point of doing shit like this, bro? Like, when you snitched on people that, like, they kidnapped you and everything, bro, bro. They didn't kill you or none of that shit. And they fucked your baby moms. They didn't rape her. They, they didn't fuck the rape her ass, bro. Yeah, man. That's what I think about it. We out.